Hello and welcome back to PHP Basics. My name is Sean and today I want to talk about joining tables inside of uh, PHP and MySQL. Uh, the reason that you would join tables is if there are elements in one table and there are elements in another table but you need information from both of those tables to build a successful query. And to demonstrate that I have a, a schema called US Locations. I have a table called cities and I have a table called states. Now if we look at the identifiers or the columns in each one of these, we can see that under states I have an abbreviation, I have the ID, um, and then I have the state uh, name itself. We can see that here whenever we look at it. The ID number, so Alabama has the ID number of 103 and then the abbreviation of AL. If I look under cities, we have all of these different city names and then that state ID corresponds with the uh, ID from the state table. So there's a unique identifier that links these two together, but there's not a common table that shows them all in the same location. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Okay. So inside of, uh, uh, your PHP editor, which I'm just using Notepad++. Let's go ahead and do our PHP tags. Now the first thing that we want to do is uh, connect to the database. So I will do that by creating a variable called MySQLi and that's just going to equal a new MySQLi class and uh, the first parameter is your server name which is localhost for me and then your username, your password, and then your uh, database name, which for me is US locations. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is to build the query. Um, and I typically just do this within the executable itself, but I will create a query or a variable and just call it query. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select states dot state as state and what I'm doing is I'm specifying the table name and the column name and then I'm giving it a friendly name that we can reference later and the reason we have to do this is because if we look back there's an ID column under states and there's also an ID column under cities now we can specify cities.id and cities. or states.id, but every time you want to reference that, you're going to have to type all of that in. Well, by doing it this way, all we have to do is say state, and state knows that I'm referring to states.state. Okay, so we're going to select states.state as state, and we're also going to select uh, cities.city as city from states comma cities because we are referencing both tables where let's see states dot id equals cities dot state id and states dot state equals alabama and we're going to find all of the towns or cities inside of Alabama. Okay, so states.id equals cities.stateid, and those two numbers should be the same. Okay, so now let's execute this query. And we'll do that. I'll just create a variable. I'll call it result set because this is going to uh, return all of those different rows and that's going to be a set of results and that's going to uh, let's see here equal mysqli in reference to this variable up here to the query class and uh, we will just plug in query here so technically we could have typed all of this information in here but just to keep it clean we'll we, we won't do that okay so now just to make sure that it returns something, uh, we'll count the rows. We'll say if result set num rows does not equal zero, then 
then we'll display our results on the page or else uh, we'll generate an error and we can do that just by echoing my SQLI error okay so if I look at my page I don't have any errors but if I throw like an extra T in here somewhere it's going to say uh, unknown column so it kind of helps me troubleshoot that a little bit so let's take that back out and at this point all we have to do is display our information from our uh, database onto the page as we always do but there's one little caveat and one little thing that changes so we'll say while rows equals result set fetch a sock for an associative array then we'll say state equals rows and we'll grab the state and then we can grab the city by doing the same thing now the only difference between this and what we usually do is this would typically be the name of the column in the database however we have to reference this here okay so if I name this uh, the state then this down here would have to be the state as well okay and at this point all we have to do is echo out um, state and city and we'll do a line break there as well and if I refresh my page then it's going to show all of the cities in Alabama just like that we could easily go in and change this to Illinois and it would give us the same thing only all of the Illinois cities now if you're just looking to grab this information quickly you could simply select all of this go into PHP my admin and open up the console and paste that in control enter and it's going to show all the same information and you can display that directly on the page as well so in my personal opinion that is the simplest way to join two tables together uh, there are other methods of joining tables there's join unions join left join right um, this to me seems to be the simplest approach and it's always gotten the job done for what I need it to so if you have any questions as always feel free to leave a comment below I appreciate you watching the video if you like what I do uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to get uh, future updates on content I'll see you guys on the next one stay creative